Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, just wanted to answer a question that I get all the time, and I get it very regularly and still get it. I've answered that a few times, but I think it's worth it to talk about it a little bit more. And it's how powerful a computer do you need for running an SDR, a software-defined receiver? So I run my RSPDX here with SDR Uno. Uh, on a laptop that honestly is about six years old. Um, if you look at my, uh, if I go to the task manager here to show you a little bit more about how, uh, what's the, the, the processor here. So this is an Intel Core i5 um, from like 2015 or 14 even. Um, this was, um, I believe it's 2014. Uh, this was a computer that um, actually is, was powerful at the time. Still is somewhat powerful for what it is, uh, but it does show its age right now. Uh, but it does run uh, my SDRs, and it runs them quite well. So it shows you that what you need to check out is the, you know, the processor power is important. Uh, make sure that you have a good CPU, so you know at least an i5. If you go below an i3 or or, or even you know uh, older uh, Core 2 duos, for example, it still works, but it will really be a max of your CPU. You'll notice that there's a high load on the CPU when you run the SDR. The other thing about the SDR is because of the age, speed of USB ports, and all of that it's possible that you're not going to achieve the full bandwidth that is allowed. So when you run it, so here I'm going to just start the software. You're going to see by yourself with the um, task manager the load that it gives on uh, the CPU and, and on the computer. So here it is. And if I start it, you could see that this is what it actually uh, will give me. And um, let me just uh, mute the uh, or lower the volume here. So here we go. So you could see, depending on what you do, um, the load will be more or less, and depending on how the computer is doing. So here you gotta see that I'm also doing remote com remote desktop, so that takes part of the CPU, but. CPU usage, uh, typically, right now it's at 60%, but typically on its own, just the computer, uh, running at the minimum 2 megahertz bandwidth that you could see, uh, you would have about, in this case, this is higher than is actually uh, the case usually, uh, more in the 25-35%. But of course, if you add, you want to record the screen, things like that, of course, it will add to it. And you can see the limits also um, when you actually use 10 megahertz, for example, which is a maximum for SDR, the RSPDX, uh, you might see edges that fall that show you that it's not possible to have more than that uh, range. So it might not be 10, it could be 8 or 7 or 6, depending on how powerful the PC is and how it's capable of handling all the data coming from the uh, computer itself. Now you see it maxed out a lot here, but it's not reality. It's it's lower than that usually. Uh, it's really because the way that I'm doing it right now. But uh, a used laptop from a couple of years ago might actually do an excellent job uh, for an SDR, or an older PC might do a, a good job for an SDR also. But it will always depend on what you want to do. Uh, remember that if you want to do a full spectrum recording for a couple of hours. Uh, and, and, and wake up in the morning and check out what you receive, that will require a very recent PC and a solid state drive because it records a lot of data on the hard drive and it needs to write it real fast. So it all depends on the needs and what you're going to use and it all depends also on the software you use. Some software are lighter than others, so uh, depending on what software you're going to use, you might see that you use one that takes less power off of your PC. But overall, if you have an old PC lying around that's five, four, five, six years old, it will probably be able to run the SDR that you want to run. 
It's just that the older it is, the less capable it is. So there are features that you might not be able to run at maximum capabilities. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.